first read Tolkien when I was about 17 and um, I just lived in that world. What he created actually seems to live outside of the works themselves. He's kind of given us a, a kind of a playground that we can explore ourselves. My name's Alan Lee. I'm a book illustrator and occasional film designer. I illustrated The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and helped to design the movie production of The Lord of the Rings. And now Beren and Luthien. The story of Beren and Luthien is part of Tolkien's vast kind of compendium of, of myths. And it tells the story of the creation of Middle-earth. It's a story that fascinated him. He could see it any number of ways of, of treating it, and he, and he tried them all. The book that we finally have is Christopher Tolkien's kind of interpretation using in, entirely Tolkien's um, own words. Tolkien's inspiration was, uh, was a, a moment seeing his, his, his wife, Edith, dancing in a wood. When Edith eventually died, he had the name Luthien inscribed on, on the gravestone. And then, when a few years later, he, he, he died, they um, inscribed Baron also in the grave. So most of the drawings start with a um, pencil drawing and then a switch to um, watercolour. This will probably take at least two weeks, maybe, maybe, maybe more. This is a painting of Tavildo, Prince of, of Cats, that um, has imprisoned Beren. Luthien has gone into his lair and is about to rescue. It's been an immense privilege for me to be able to explore the, the world created by Tolkien in such detail. And I do feel very responsible for um, how it's presented. I try not to um, impose my vision too, too strongly, leaving a lot to the, to the imagination. Mm -hmm.